Hello everyone, it's me Nick the Brick and today we have another really exciting video. However, we got some of the rumors for the Ninjago 2021 sets. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. So however, we have four of the spinner $10 sets. They are called Epic Bat Sets and you get two minifigures for 10 bucks. However, the names are Kai vs. Skulkin, J vs. Serpentine. Zane vs Nindroid and the Cole vs Ghost Warrior. So I think we will get the Legacy 1 Kai, Legacy 1 J, Legacy 2 Zane and the new Cole suit. And what I'm hoping is that we will get the remakes of the original spinner concept, you know, that you can knock the figure out and stuff like that. So yeah, high hopes but I highly doubt that will actually happen. Our next set will cost $30 and will be based on Tournament of Elements. And however I hope we get a smaller version of the, you know, that snake temple, what was it? Enter the Serpent? I don't know, something like that. Or maybe even Dojo's Shutdown, like, you know, they can be pretty creative with that. And also from the Tournament of Elements we will get the Electromech remake, which I'm not surprised, but what I really hope they can do is that they will put the Klaus mech in this set and make it a bit, you know, more expensive, but hey, you will have two mechs and one that we haven't seen before, so I think that would be very cool. And we also have the Boulder Blaster, which is the Colors Jet, and maybe we get the Legacy Nia in here. I don't know, I just have a feeling they will throw her in there, if they actually would make her. The only Legacy set from the rebooted is the Ninja Charger, and just why? Just why do we need another trashy guy vehicle? Like for real, why? Where's my where's my ninja copter? Like seriously, we could have get, you know, the classic pixel in legacy form and stuff like that. Just oh, I guess kids like Kai vehicles, I don't know, because they're red. I mean, I'm just being the honest, like yeah. The most stupid legacy move I've ever seen. And the last legacy set is the, what I think is the most exciting one, the Zane's Titan Mech Battle. And yes, this is the remake of the Possession set that I really love. And I have a strong feeling this one won't disappoint. And yeah, also something that we have to know is there are the Ninjago Gardens coming. You know, that's still a thing. For $300, over 5,000 pieces, like, you know, that's a lot of pieces, but hey, we'll have to wait and see. And what I think is the most exciting is the season 14 list. And guess what? Only four sets, mid-sized sets, you heard it right, only four for the wall season. And guess what? I'm actually fine with that, I don't need trashy vehicles and stuff like that. But however, we have jungle... Chopper bike, which will come with Lloyd for 20 bucks, and you know, maybe some other characters, but however, I mean, this will probably be the least interesting one. However, is the Jungle Dragon for $40. Pretty excited, I don't know, you know, we'll have to wait. We have the Keeper's Village for $50, I think that might be the best set. Hammer and Sea Battle, and yes. You know, something that I really noticed is that we got sets from jungle and water. So what I think could be the case that this season will be Lloyd's and Nia's season. And then Nia will have finally a completed season, you know, since she, will, she shared season 7 with Kai. So this is it for this list. Yes, nothing is confirmed at that point, but hey, it comes from Ninja Whip. So I think that's a very strong source. And however, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye.